Hello, Colas. Welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Ansu Fati, as it has been reported that the Barcelona young star is the one to watch in the summer as Manchester United continue to show strong interest in him. Eric Den Haag reportedly likes him a lot. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Yannick Carrasco, it has been reported that Barca are yet to make a final call regarding 20 million euro rated winger, Man United and Tottenham also interested. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona prodigy Ansu Fati has not quite fulfilled or come true to live up to the hype once generated around him. The Spaniard broke through the scene under Ernesto Valverde, but an injury against Real Betis in the 2020-21 season ruled him out for several months. Since then, hamstring and knee injuries have been recurring for Fati, who has not quite hit top gear under Xavi. Barcelona handed him a long-term renewal last year with a release clause of 1 billion euros. But it seems they are not fully convinced with him, given his recent poor form of late. Fati has just three goals in 20 appearances in the league and is third out of four wingers in Xavi's pecking order. The Spaniard has been linked with an exit in the summer, with reports claiming that Barcelona are desperate to get rid of him. Manchester United and Bayern Munich are among clubs keeping an eye on his future. Fabrizio Romano provided an important update regarding the same as well, claiming that Fatih's situation in the summer could be one to watch out for during the summer transfer market. This is because Barcelona need to offload players in the summer to balance their financial fair play situation. Otherwise, they will be unable to bring in more players or register new contracts. English clubs have been showing interest in Fati always, led by Manchester United. The record Premier League champions had the Barcelona forward on Gerrard two years ago, and is a player they have always appreciated. United enjoy a great relationship with his agent, George Mendes, who was responsible for bringing back Cristiano Ronaldo to Old Trafford in 2021. They are yet to make any direct contacts regarding the player though. As for Bayern Munich, Romano says that they are not working on signing Fatih. Xavi has gone on record to say that Fatih needs the support of the fans more than ever before. But it will be interesting to see his development as soon as you know the season goes ahead of the summer transfer window. Fatih is currently going through some very difficult times, you know, unable to pick up the form that most people expected of him. And it is inevitable to hear rumors like this. United, in fact, interest from the top clubs in Europe. And uh, of course, this might even make Barca to be tempted to sell, given that he does not really bring much to the team. But manager Xavi always keeps saying in the press conference that let's just have patience with Fati and let's just give him the full support, that he needs the support of the fans than ever before. We all know what Fati have gone through in the last two seasons, um, two long-term injuries, back-to-back -back seasons. And I still believe that he still has the talent, you know, and... Uh, it's just a matter of time. I think Fatih will return. I think he has a natural talent. I don't know what's going through his mind right now. But it's really sad to see the fact that Fatih is not delivering the way we wanted. And also the burden of having the number 10 shirt on him. I don't know if that also affects him. But I, don't, I just think the media should not put a lot of pressure on him. Because he can't deliver right now. He's still very young. I don't think he can shoulder what he can bring that stuff that Messi usually bring to the team. Um, so it is inevitable to see clubs that are showing interest in him. And when we consider the fact that Barca are also suffering when it comes to complying with financial fair play in La Liga, that might also be a tempting factor, you know. Despite Ansu Fati having a 1 billion euro release clause, definitely no club will ever pay that such amount for him, especially as he has no form right now. 
But Bartha themselves know very well that even if they want to sell Ansu Fati, it will all end down in negotiations, you know, for, for both parties to come up with a transfer price, not the one billion <laughs> transfer. So let's see how it all goes. Fabrizio Romano himself confirming the interest from other clubs except Bayern Munich because Bayern Munich came out two days ago saying that we are not showing any interest in Ansu Fati. Uh, you know, we heard the German publication saying the same that all those things were just rumors. Bayern have not never shown interest in Ansu Fati. But for United, you know, Eric Ten Hag, according to reports, likes the player. And this is not the first time that they have been showing interest in him. Two years ago, United were strongly linked with Ansu Fati when he break into the Saints. And here we are again talking about Ansu Fati being linked to Manchester United. So it remains to be seen if actually they succeed in signing him or not. Then on to the next story of discussion. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano on his YouTube channel, Barcelona are yet to make a decision on the summer signing of Atletico Madrid winger Yannick Carrasco. Meanwhile, English clubs such as Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur are also tracking a winger. As part of Memphis Depay deal last month, Barcelona secured an option to sign Cas Carrasco from Atletico Madrid in the summer for a fee of around 20 million euros. Some reports have suggested that the La Liga leaders have already made up their mind to sign up the Belgian international, but Romano insists that the Catalan heavyweights are yet to make a final call on the signing of the attacker and will decide in the coming months. The Catalans have a good relationship with Carrasco agent Pini Zahavi why the player is also said to be interested in a move to the Camp Nou. But a decision is yet to be made by the Blaugrana. Amidst this, Manchester United and Tottenham are also set to be monitoring the situation of Carrasco and could look to swoop in if Barcelona decide not to exercise the 20 million euro purchase option on him in the summer. Reports earlier today suggested that Carrasco would be prepared to snub interest from England in favor of a move to Spotify Camp Nou. However, for Barcelona to pull the trigger on his signing, a lot of things will need to be fall in place given their financial situation. The Blaugrana, after all, are also lining up a move for Brazilian prodigy Vitor Roche for the upcoming summer why promising young star Ace Abde will be returning from his loan spell at CA Osasuna. So there is a possibility that Xavi will have an overload of forwards and Barcelona might need to offload one of their current players to make room. Either way, the La Liga um, behemoth are yet to make a final call on whether they will shell out the 20 million euro to sign Carrasco. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.